Henry did it. I didn't. I didn't press those buttons. <laughs> All right, mate. You did. You did do it, didn't you? No. Get back to it. Come on. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so confused. I'm so. Whoa! Now I'm really confused. Everyone's confused. We're going to a majestic castle as tourists today, by which we can watch a lovely, <laughs> grotesque. <laughs> Stop! I'm getting oh, dizzy just hold, watching hold this. It together, everyone. Um, no, it is liquid. It is CLG. It was 16-2 for liquid. Um, now, interestingly, someone tweeted me saying apparently Peacemaker went to full-time calling yesterday during one of their games. I don't know if that's 100% true or not. Oh, yeah, that sounds like wild speculation to me. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't heard anything with, from I the think inner circle. At, at this point, he's only been in the team what, less than a month. It's very difficult to learn everything they're doing, be calling full time without that, unless he's been doing a ton of work with them. They've had a lot of officials as well. It's very hard to get the practice in to make that happen. I would say that's probably false. He may be helping out, but I doubt he's calling full time right now. Maybe I'm wrong, but still, that's, they've had been very busy. They haven't had the time to do a boot camp or anything like that. So I would say that's possibly false, but who knows? Peacekeeper, obviously, racing GB James, and there's a little bit of. Uh, Controversy on Twitter there. I'm not sure if you caught up with that. But, I um, saw it all. Well, I didn't see it all. I stopped uh, reading it about halfway through because it seemed pretty ridiculous. They were at each other's throats, it seemed, uh, kind of working out. I mean, I guess when you're the former coach, you can always lay blame on the new one, right? <laughs> yeah. But it's also like George Bush making his problems suddenly become Barack Obama's and then Barack Obama getting blamed. Yeah, I guess it's exactly like that. Yeah, it's exactly like that. Reference game on point. Um... Yeah, it's funny his name's Peacekeeper because that in some ways is kind of what the X-Men are in the apocalypse. They're trying to fight right. back against the god. Don't forget that movie comes out tomorrow. Well, not quite. It is tomorrow technically on our clock because we're in Europe, but it's Friday the 27th, really. We're going to jump into it. Pistol underway, Henry. The pistol is underway. You're absolutely right. It's going to be liquid starting on the T side here, and I think that's a massive advantage for them. They've just come out fresh out the trap with a 16-2 victory on the first map. And they're looking to close things out here. They are a very strong cobble team, I'd say, especially against CLG in their current form. Train was an absolute disaster for them. Some would say a train wreck. Well, JDM forced to fall back inside of the site based on a flashbang thrown in his direction. He'll do that safely and successfully. It makes them a lot more passive in their positioning with Tarek out toward the chicken coop. Why does that worse than when we laugh? I, because of Mo? Yep. <laughs> I could call it KFC. That makes me laugh for other reasons. Oh, okay. Come on. Hey, don't worry. I've Come done worse on. this year. <laughs> that story has been well eclipsed, my Trump. friends. <laughs> yeah. As JDM is going to get one on Hiko. Kusta does find Tarek back in turn, though, and Liquid's finding entries, but JDM's Ooh. finding kills. And that's going to drop the bomb down, but it doesn't matter because Nitro is going to go ahead and start this off with two kills. There it is. Liquid favoring towards Close the beast. With two kills, rather. Sorry. Thank you for clarifying. You're welcome. There's a lot of confusion there, I'm sure. Um, they get into the bomb site. It was CLG opening up the fragging there, but uh, Liquid fighting back. It was uh, Adren with uh, the first, and then Kusta and I Nitro know. finding those kills. And it's going to be a bison here, Matt. The bison, the herd of bison. Remember you were calling it that yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's funny we're on the same map. It's the Pippi Bison. I think the bison's better. It's I cool. do like a herd of bison. It's very rare to see his weapon. It's uh, a herd of bison and a gaggle of meese. And that's why, because he goes dead now, of course, after purchasing that weapon. <laughs> Hasn't really worked out for him. There's a little bit of damage towards Bella. Are we sure the term is a herd of bison? No, I, that's what I was going to look up, because yeah. I, I, I was making the joke gaggle of meese. Mm. It's a Canadian joke. Um, Can we get our best man on the job? Ah, out? apparently Elise actually said it. Okay. Tried Liquid Peace as in-game leader on Mirage match. Won the round after we got, what? Won the round after we got to 15. So maybe that is the difference. Kusta takes down Peter. Hayes takes down Kusta in turn, though, and that still gives the advantage right now to the pistols, the upgraded pistols and armor of CLG. Interesting to note the armor as well because it's MAC-10s out. The MP7 isn't, it's not great, but it's not the worst thing in the world against armor, but MAC-10s kind of struggle need, in this Especially on Cobble. This is a very large map, a long-range map. You need to have two AKs at least with SMGs. They went into Bisons and uh, MAC-10s and MP7s. I think they're getting a little bit ahead of themselves. It's, you need those rifles just to complement them and uh, assist you in those long-range encounters. And now I'd say actually CLG, considering the situation right now, they have the advantage. It's going to be the execute CA site, 25 seconds remaining. And there it is, the first kill comes in, at least does make that MAC-10 do some serious work there. It takes down Hayes, and now the retake coming in from Balcony. All three players from the CT is going to be waiting there. And I don't think you have to face that, my friend, but... He will be deciding to do that anyway, but it looks Ooh. like Nitro. I saw the HP, I was about to say. It's so easy when they line up. Yeah, it is very It easy. is a herd, by the way. It is a herd of bison. Yes. 
Thanks to uh, our lovely Canuck producer for that. Thank you for him looking it up. Yeah. Have you ever tried uh, Bison Grass Vodka? It's uh, very good. Check it out. But don't drink it. If you're underage. Aim independently looked it up. It wasn't like. Oh, okay. Well then. I didn't hear a word you said because I was listening to them in my ear. It wasn't that interesting. Good, because Probably inappropriate. what is more interesting is that now the EKs have been brought up because the, obviously they've had to reinvest into this. They did get one more SMG on Tahiko. It's not on Takusta, who's going to be the AWP player. Rather, with him, they've left him on the Tech 9. So they are still trying to build into this game. This is a, a peculiar position for Adren to be in with the smoke already down on the archway, just waiting for Hayes to walk back out and get in his way. That's going to happen right now, and they've now got a more secured round here. So important that they stay efficient here. They want to be able to, to, to be sure not to have to reinvest again. If they have to reinvest two rounds in a row, then they lose one, and they're on a save. So this gives them a chance to actually reset CLG, even if they lose the first gun round. Well, Talent is finally killing towards Adren. They actually get two for the money here, so it's going to be... The SMG's down, still the, the three OKs prevailing here. Kusta just using that Tech 9 to finish off Tarek, and now we just have JDM left in the unwinnable situation. Picks up an MP7, taking down the end, 3 0. And we go into the first gun run here. Let's see what kind of buy. Surely we're going to see the JDM AWP. Uh, he has plenty of cash for that. Obviously, like I was the point I was making earlier in the first series of TSM and Optic, you need to make sure your, your AWP is not fully investing into those second round force buys. So he has the AWP, and this is a map where JDM can be very influential indeed. There's going to be AWP on Kusta though, and he definitely had the drop on him on train. So let's see how this one goes down. A big round here. CLG managed to win the first gun round on train before they get it fully reset and everything fell apart. And we're looking to do the same here, but obviously a better storyline after that. It's going to be slow, long A play, and JDM will be waiting for them as well. Most teams will use a flashbang here. Looks like they're going straight up face, and did JDM miss the shot there? I assume he did. He'll be firing off the nose gate momentarily. Ooh. Pitta starts it off, Adren goes down, and first gun round, first pick goes to CLG. JDM with AWP watching out toward Long, smoke off in the corner. He needs to be alive in this game. We already mentioned that at the end of the last one after the poor performance on terrain. He really needs to step up in this one. Well, as Pitta to open things up here, and you see the problem is with the CTs now, even though they have the man advantage, Liquid have three smokes, Molotovs, a ton of flashbangs. And this is not the case with the CTs here. They're going to have to try and work for the next kill here just to secure the round at this point. If a full execution came in, they are done for. You can see now pushing towards long A. The CTs have got a ton of info here, so they can rotate four players over towards B. That's going to be very beneficial for them. But uh, Hiko, look at this next kill. He needs to be very careful here. But that's a decent grenade. Actually lands right on top of cover here. And it's still going to be a tricky situation. So the last two CTs there. And now he comes to first base. Hiko comes out on top and Kusta chiming in as well. Four on three now, but 30 seconds remaining. We need to make the next move now. Here come the smokes, and here comes execution. Oh, okay. Tarek and Pitta, though. JDM now on to Belize. And Hiko didn't commit to drop because of this exact reason. He wanted to stay above and make sure they couldn't get in, but that's a huge turnaround of events as four kills in succession, and they just pull that right back after losing two and drop with Kajusta getting a nice pick. That all falls apart. That fell apart far too quickly as well. Well, it's Pitta that gets three kills total. He actually got the opening kill as well, so... Very big ground, can be three players alive. They've got a double AWP set up now as well on the CD side. I'm not a fan of the double AWP on Cobble, but given this current circumstance, and they actually convincingly took a lot of weapons off Liquid, they're not actually going to be on an eco here. So this is okay, they can build some bankroll. They actually haven't got any grenades either, so this should be a foregone conclusion. Round number five will be going in favor of CLG. They've just got some Tech 9s and CT 50s. They're still, okay, there it is. They invest some, in some late smoke. So they'll probably just be doing the water smokes towards B, trying to get the plan down. They probably saw the pickup of the AWP and the death cams there. So, Try and take away the vision as much as they can. I'd imagine JDM will be smoked off at this point, but let's see what happens. Cutler, a very strong drawdown player traditionally. We'll see whether he can actually stay at that level throughout this one. And here we go then. The play comes in, presumably a flash towards drop down and maybe a smoke actually. I'm not going to be doing the wall of smokes, just trying to get control of the map. Cutler. Waiting for the pushback through drop. It's actually going to be through connector and split toward A. They've got control of the hut right now, and they are forcing Cutler back. They get the kill for, from Hiko, but bombs in B. So really, they're just trying to buy themselves space, confuse the rotations, force CLG to scurry away, and it's going to leave JDM awkwardly inside of the site. That's one by Elise. This is a decent call by Liquid. Yeah, they've got the open and Ren now as well. He's in a stranger to his weapon. There are two players coming from this other platform position, so Plon comes in a boost on the tree as well. That's actually pretty clever. And uh, I think that's uh, CLG are pretty much out of this round. They have no kits here. 
and an orb on the retake and Nicholas not giving anything away apart from that one Adren a uh, very questionable decision from him they need to guarantee the bomb before you start exiting but it looks like it'll be absolutely fine it's still and the CTs will be saving so this round was pretty much nothing invested from Liquid they had what PT-50s, Tech Nines, no armor three smokes and they got themselves in towards that connector area that's where things got very uncomfortable that's when the CLG double orb setup doesn't really work out as soon as you lose that first kill and you've got terrorists swarming around the map and getting coming at you from both angles from that upper platform and connector finding kills on your teammates as well that makes things very tricky indeed that's a full reset here a huge round for liquid to win here 4-1 looking for Tarek it looks like he'll be surviving he's all the way in towards that sniper tower and there it is only getting $1,400 into this round I thought that was, even said at the beginning of the round that was almost impossible situation for liquid but they make it work and now they have a ton of cash to work with JDM has got the AWP so never all these top orbers out of these situations if they get the orb and they can go for this aggressive first pick looks like he was favoring towards middle if he gets the first kill the rotates back towards B where he's already funneled them definitely opportunities there to make this round happen it's obviously low percentage chance but there's something to work with here when you have someone like him on the orb and he's going to try and get aggressive out toward that B platform position as well Nitro holding him off so there's a Herrick yeah I thought it was him when, the, uh, when I saw the jump coming through. I thought it might be him trying to get the fast pick, but he's actually rotated back to the top of the middle, so it's a standard position for him. Alij Molotoving down. Gonna try and cover off that drop strategy. And Liquid are just trying to wait this out and see what they can find. Flash over. Tarek's turn to be on this B platform. Remember, when he goes onto the terrorist side, look for him to spray into that box every single round. It's just Tarek things. Molotov does reach Derek. They spot him. They can't find the shot, though. Do catch him before they double face onto Cutler's position. But into the site, they have to find this. And Nitro's not looking that direction. Thankfully, Adren, still on the platform, does find it. And Nitro can advance forward and try and cut off these rotations of pistols. Yeah, this could be pretty simple now as Nitro takes down Hayes. It could be a 5-on-2. JDM with that LWP, of course, doesn't get anything for it. And it's a perfect read from Liquid, and he'll just be trying to save the orb at this stage. We'll see if they go on the hunt. I think they're pretty aware that he has to save that weapon, so he'll be once again going back towards T-Spawn, trying to get in towards the Sniper Tower. Doesn't look like the hunt is going to be on. Maybe it is. At least going to boost up towards Dropdown. He can get towards T-Spawn, but it's going to be a very difficult procedure to actually find, find JDM here. So Pitta, with that USP, he was actually the hero and the only runner they've won so far. He will be looking for exits. He's sat in the vent room. Hoping someone walks into his crosshair, but not going to happen, I'm afraid. It's going to be 5-1 in favour of Liquid here, and after such a dominating performance in training, they're definitely setting the tone once again for Cobble on the T side as well. Warp saved again, but still the money just not there for the CTs. If they were to force this, JDM could drop an M4, I'd say possibly a Famous, and yeah, they'll be going in. So it's not great, it's not pretty, but it's something. Two Famouses, 5-7, Hayes with the M4, a couple of kits, they have got some utility, but at this point in terms of the firepower, Liquid is such a massive advantage. And that's why the problem is saving the orb, it can be very tempting to invest into these rounds. Let's see whether JDM can find anything. So far, had a very quiet series. Look for that first pick towards the other platform, and he actually gets it as well. Nitro going down finally. We're doing damage on a Tarek, though. He's down to 21 on Tarek's side, so he nearly did catch one with that spray. In fact, he took JDM down to 57 as well, so... A bad effort, but did give himself away, give himself up. Pico gonna rotate back off this as well. After losing Nitro, it looks like A is the intended target. They've got Pita boosted up. Remember, he played solo. We talked about that here yesterday. This time, he's got a bit more with him as Hazed is there as well, but Elise, that's proper execution! And Hayes, it's only a mere one HP onto Elise. Doesn't comfort repeaking it because he knows there's more than just Elise there. He will eventually drop. Easily done by Cutler, who finds him in the open. That slows the push considerably. They've got the rotation coming in. Bomb covered off. Hayes with one HP now, though. He's going to be left alive in this. It's still two men up. They can still find this right now. They know where JDM is. The problem is solving JDM first, and then it becomes easy. And he's only on 31 HP. Oh. Nice shot that should do it. I mean, and that's, that's the information right there. Hayes in a horrible position here as well, and that's going to be it. It's a Dren stepping up once more. He was really, really good on train in terms of those clutches, and that's another, what, 4 on 2 situation going in their favour. This is rotating CTs with low HP, but that was a very, very impactful frag from him, and that shot into JDM really did seal the deal. Hayes left in an unwinnable situation, top of middle, 
and just had nothing to work with here. There's not going to be a pause just yet because they're going to be on an eco. Just trying to keep the money on the 2k mark. They're coming to a fourth state loss bonus after this round, but it will be 7 1. It's a five man stack towards B, but looks things. Just one player towards the connector area. And this time, Liquid will be edging their way towards the A bomb site. Pitta, like he said, they kept him towards that A side by himself and a lot of the gun rounds as well. And he just didn't have the aim to really fulfill that role, I would say. But let's see what he can do this time. Arms off to cover off every angle. Hiko finds Peter late in the bottom of the middle, trying to sneak behind them, potentially sneak behind them. Ooh, that's Obviously not to be the case. Chris from Adren. Kusta finding one before that AWP, and it's Tarek, the last alive versus four. Pizza 50 in hand, just going to try and look for exits. Do you think we're seeing this return to form from Adren once again because it is Peacekeeper calling? Peacemaker? If, if it is Peacekeeper calling again, that's the question. We don't 100% know. Peacemaker. Right. Yeah, we did that yesterday. Um, peace guy. Uh, peace guy. Peace I mean, the, the, you could assume that if they were comfortable after winning that map yesterday, then, you know, maybe they do stick with it. I, I'd like some further confirmation from that. I might have to message some people in Atlanta um, and get some, get some details because maybe that's true. I mean, maybe this is more proof that Adren needs to stop calling and just focus on this game. I'm sure he has a great understanding of the game. And like, Does? Just, Does he ever watch his videos? Yeah, of course. But like, there's just some people that aren't cut out for being in-game leaders. You may have the best ideas, but if it really affects your game like that, you're just not an in-game leader. You can contribute to it. I'm sure you can give some ideas. But if you can't handle the mid-round pressure of calling and having the decisions and working out what's going to be the best way for your team to actually win rounds, then uh, I've always said... I really don't buy into the idea that uh, being an in-game leader should limit your fragging capability. Uh, players like Fallen have already proven that shouldn't be the case and you should be able to step up and almost have it benefit you. Mm -hmm. I feel like Carrigan as well, I don't feel like he feels like he's affected by calling. Do you know there was, there was a really, really, really good in-game leader once that taught frag just about every single game? Henry G? <clears throat> no, it was Sadokist in Call of Duty. Ah, okay. Well. Just going to let you know. Fair enough. Yeah, well. I, I just feel like it, it's just not an excuse. I don't think you say, oh, well, he doesn't get the most phrase. He's bottom of the scoreboard every time because he's the in-game leader, of course. Well, he shouldn't be leading. Yeah, him. that doesn't that doesn't. It, 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 doesn't mean, it just means he can't fulfill the role properly. Like, he might be able to great ideas and come up with the strats and stuff. I just don't feel like that's uh, a granted reason anymore. I feel, especially in 2016, if he's limiting a player that much, just don't put him on that role. You need to find someone who can do both or get a coach who can call for you. So it was, just, it was a 2015 thing. Like, people used to say that line all the time. And I was just I used to like kind, kind of like, like the support player excuse. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, there's no reason like where you can't be the player like in the less exciting roles and stuff like that, and still be getting good frags. Like Zipex is another example of that. I don't think you can call him a support player anymore. Like, he's just actually yeah, he's a beast a, now. He's just a beast today. He's a good anchor on bomb sites and can rotate in and find all the clutches all over the place. I think that the, the, the term support yeah. player is very diluted this day. It doesn't really hold much worth in terms of what it actually means. Yeah. Um, uh, well, uh, but, but but more to the point, it, it, I, I still think it is. Uh, a, a role that exists. There are players that are more prone to being the guy throwing the flash instead of the guy that's pushing. Yeah. I'll give you the example in Inferno. Obviously, we're not going to have that as much anymore, but the guy that stays in the site that flashes over for the guy to take banana. There's the guy that. But the way CS has works, that role. you don't like. You're not set at the back doing nothing. Right, right, and that's the point. You still have to get frag totals. It became yeah. the same excuses in game leading. It was like, well, he doesn't get any kills because he's he's still taking kills. Yeah, he's still, he's still, he's still, still five players alive. It's not like you're, he's going to guarantee your entry frag is not going to guarantee kills every single time. Yeah. Every situation he's going to come in and have to have aim and understanding of how to enter bomb sites and actually reading the situations. I just don't feel like, oh, he's not getting frags. He's a support player. That doesn't mean anything. It's Counter Strike. Everyone has to be killing people. It's a team game. And yes, there will be people doing set smokes, but most strategies involve all five players doing smokes. It's not just one guy doing nothing. Like, there's always going to be the, the utility usage. You, all your players should be using their utility. That yeah. doesn't make sense. That's one so. of the other things that, I, I, uh, that bugs me in mid-round calling, is that you have these five-man executions, and as soon as you lose one man, it's not like you sit and think, which smoke is the least important? Can we go without? They just go without it anyway. And, like, yeah. you see gaps like Mirage, you see CT stairs left open. That triggers me so much, because mm. that's the most important smoke out of all of them. So that's just a side tangent on that whole... Well, that, every player has a role thing. But. Well, we, we could talk with that about that, but the game is going to be yeah. back into it now. So it is, that was a pause from COG. Obviously, they're really Tactical, up against yep. it right now. It's 7-1 against them. And uh, with this rebuy, of course, they have the AWP. They have the utility this time. And we'll see whether they can bounce back after this heavy deficit. It's going to be a five-man attack towards B, that looks at things from Liquid. Nice and fast this time. But it has boosted up to the trees. Not really left towards A this time, but uh, let's see whether Liquid can find the flashbangs here. Maybe a full execution here, but that incendiary will definitely slow them down. They probably had some ticks there as well, so we'll be rotating another player over towards B. Flash A, but that's going to 
Flashes do go in. They're already over the top. Pita on the tree. He's going to try and shut down the leash. He can't find the angle. Does now get it. And he lines up two more. Pita stepping up huge. Post timeout, the coach, who likely was vocal during that time, finding some kills. And it's on to Hika. One versus four. Bomb down inside of the site just before... Excuse me, just after the wall, rather. Pita going to close it as well. His best round over the last two nights. Yeah, for sure. And they keep four players alive as well, so that's uh, very good. You can see the money is still very strong for Liquid, though. And uh, so you need to be careful. They definitely didn't have the full array of grenades in the third round, and they've got the double orb set up. I'm not a big fan of it on Cobble. I think it's the, uh, the, the, the probably the worst map for the double orb setup, in my opinion. I don't think it works out. You've got a lot of retakes here, some lots of difficult choke points in terms of connector and balcony to get through. I think single orb, sure, that obviously works. But the double orb setup for me, there's so much execute potential for the terrorists without map control required. Um, I feel like it's, it's, it's limiting yourself in terms of what you can actually do. But it's going to be tower going aggressive. Oh, there we go. Punished straight away. Nitro, so good at that platform position. His Pito, I don't think he's going to step up the same sort of levels he did in the previous round from this tree position. But let's see what he can do. He needs some of the flash from him, but he is detected. And there it is. At least he gets a kill. It is answered back by Cutler. And it's going to be up to Hayes now on the bomb side. Kusta taking him down. And the fire on top of that tree position. Kusta, too easy. Cutler just walks in. That's a full reset. CLG. Is it from bad to worse or. Is it just the same situation because they're going to only just have a mere... Uh, it's actually better than I would have thought is they got 4,000 on Hayes, they've got 40, 50 on it's Cutler, but it's not great on everyone it's else. It's not a buy though, is it? It's going to be... They're going to get 19. No, they're going to get 14. No, 19, yeah. So, I mean, you could argue a couple people buying pistols, and that's what they've done. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, like, it's just like, you'd be mad to Yeah, to four, like. full force, yeah. yeah. So, let's see what they can do with this one. It's going to be 8-2 now, CLG. After winning quite a convincing round as Pitta, that's the thing. If you're winning rounds, but with one player getting four frags, that's not like you've adapted and you've done really well to work out what they're doing. You've just had one player who's playing lights out for one round and then you, they just kind of counted you completely. That double orb setup for me, like I said, I, I really don't rate it on couple at all. It's, it's something you can chuck in every now and then to kind of catch them out, but when you're strugg struggling like this, I'd say just keep it, stick to the basics and have the rifles, the crossfires, and uh, allow yourself some certain push the smoke and uh, flash push for certain positions but here we go it's gonna be a four man stack towards the a side from clg two towards danger two towards wrong a there's one player towards b the problem is that's with the bombers it's gonna be this little two-man unit of the liege and so the other player is i assume it's nitro maybe it's working for the ace uh, the b split coming in now so it's a dread with him so they'll be going up towards the a side trying to scout things out the problem is with this they'll probably call the a side's clear and that kill towards B as well. That's probably going to open the floodgates. This could actually work out for COD, you know? Could. I think it will. Well, it's the bomb that's going to be isolated. We're not seeing it right now. That's a kill for Hayes, but Hiko still survives. And now he's got the Tech 9 still rolling, still alive. Adren turns back to catch JDM. And if Hiko had gone down, if they lost the bomb, then yeah. I might have said it would have worked. But as I, soon as he won that tool, that was enough. Just from the intel they had gathered from losing that first bag of B and then the four range plays hidden at long A, I thought they had a real chance to kind of backstab mm -hmm. and get the rotating terrorists. But obviously Hiko stepping up that tech nine completely denies that. It's going to be 9-2 here. But Cutler saves the AWP. That's a nice little pickup from him. Yeah, they're going to be himself. able to buy around that easily next round. Absolutely. They only get 1900 for that orb. Boosts their chances considerably. Just stick to one orb though, boys. You wouldn't put two? JDM and uh, Tarek? Nope, on a couple. All right then. It's. It can't, I, I, teams have flirted with it, trying to have one on A, top and middle, and then again, the other one on B. As soon as the team realizes you're doing it, though, it'll be good for one round, and then they'll just do full just execution. Rush you. Yeah. Well, they, they can have rush you, or they can just do a full execution of Wall of Space and B, then how are you going to retake that? Once the bomb goes down and everyone's hitting in crossfires, it's such a difficult position. You just need one dynamic orb, someone who's moving around every single round, going for picks towards mid, upper platform, maybe a boost towards drop down, it's just something like that. That's all you need. The double orb setup for me doesn't really work out too, too well. But uh, here we go then, round number 12. There will be four and fours, and JDM, of course, on the orb. Let's see what he decides to go. He hasn't really been rolling at all on couple still. But to be fair, no one can see what he has, apart from Pitto, he's the coach. So let's see how round number 12 goes down. Fast play from the drag. Going for those mid doors, and there's going to be two players towards on a front of the CTs here. I assume that's one of those would be JDM. Sorry, he has been playing with Zorb the majority of the time. It actually looks like he's towards. The other side, I have no idea. I can't really read the mini map for this setup, but you know, Pitta and Hayes. Okay, so the orbs would be. 
Pitello does have position still at this Bales angle. Hazed. Side him in the corner is going to watch the top of danger. They think about going that way. I think it's clear now, though, and having gone all the way up with itself. They're going to rely on Nitro to getting that information. He gets one traded out by Hayes now that he's there. And that's going to allow Elise to follow up onto him. JDM inside side the site. AWP in hand. Getting ever closer to this position. Oh, spot of the gun barrel. Finds it. What's, how did that not... All right, well, it makes up for it. I would have thought that hit, and Kusta's going to take him down. I'm sure he'll be perplexed by that, but it is another round for Liquid. It's going to go up to 10-2. Can, um, not, can we uh, just oh. press tab really quickly for me? Okay, so they've had three bomb plant rounds ba based on this, but the most, most of these have come to kills. None of the defeat. Yeah, so there's only well, yeah. three bomb plants, and yet it's 10-2 for the terrorists. It still could be bomb plants if they kill all the CTs before True, it goes good off. point. Yeah, you're yeah. right. So it might, it might be more there. So it's, you know, it's only really a uh, quantifiable thing when it's the CT side, but um, we'll see how this goes down. 10-2. It's going to be another eco here for CLG. They're currently one map down here. It was a 16 to a foul on train, guys. So if you are just joining us, this is not getting any better for CLG. They have managed to equal their performance. Thus far. Thus far. But uh, still could be heading in a similar direction. 11-2 now. And uh, this match does guarantee who's coming to London at the end of June. Make sure you check it out at wembley.csgoleague.com. Nailed it. You got Come it. check you it got out. It, guys. We'll be there with Bardolph and DDK, of course. We'll uh, be bringing you all the CSGO action from the UK's most iconic venue. If you haven't seen it, Matt, it's a beautiful place. It's the home of I've English heard football. Things. I've heard things about it's, this. It's uh, legendary. Oh, home of soccer. Uh, yes, exactly. Oh, that's yeah. what I thought. It's a very special building. Molotov out, Peter to the corner. Tarek going to be there with him. Nobody puts baby in the corner. Tarek, well... You can put him down, though. Kusta's got the shot. JDM gets one back into a drain, but Ali's just going to take him down immediately after. That's at long A, so they've got both wings covered off. This forces an awkward rotation. Look at the positioning right now from Hayes. This is horrible for Hayes. Yeah, there's nothing that he can do there. He's in the open. Ali has about three rocks around him, and this is going to be another round going in favor of CLG. Pizza has picked up the AWP, but I'm not feeling too hopeful about that scenario. And it's going to be one player towards B, one in aggressive towards middle. That smoke comes down, and he does manage to push through and get some intel here at least. But the problem is now it's up to Pitta. With the AWP, they have smokes and flashbangs here. And let's jump on towards Pitta Cam. Let's see if we can do anything with this. I'm going to say he won't, but maybe. I'm going to say you're very likely right. He's, can get, you'll get one frag and die. That's what I think is going to happen. Well, if he does better than that, you owe me a sandwich. Didn't do better, did he? Did worse. If anything, you owe me something. <laughs> Touche. I'll order room <laughs> service. <laughs> Nitro with the kill. It's Seiko to put the bomb down and Cutler. M4 in hand is going to be one versus four. Round 14, much like that before it, is going to go to Team Liquid. It's 12 to 2. We've been here, we've been here before, excuse me. And I think Liquid tonight, they're just practicing getting over the hump because it's two rounds that they're, two games in a row they've had to lead. Let's see if it's two games in a row that they can close it and, like you say, get to London. And who wouldn't want to go to London, Henry? London, darling. I wouldn't want to go to London. You've been here a while. I know. 12 2. I can't wait to spend this round in London. Actually, do some stuff, not be on the road. We'll see how this round goes down first. At least, he's been really great this series, to be fair. It's JDM that goes down first. It's a 5 on 4. It's up to Hayes. He looks like he's waiting for a flashback from his teammates before he pushes through the smoke here. Here comes the flash, and here comes the play. Doesn't spot anything, though, but he does get a little bit of an advantageous position. Could get a double spray down here, but he does go around the corner. And he does see a nade come over. Will he be carried oh, towards the barrel as well? Uh, um, Hayes, go. Just, yes. There it is. So he was, he's actually pretty disciplined about it. He says, guys, I know there's two players in front of me. Please, can you flash me again? This could be a Brent on the other side, though, getting another kill towards Pitta. Still a three on three. No advantage gained here. But he tries to pick up the weapon. Hiko just ready for him. Takes him down. Three on two. Cut him with the Mag 7. Tarek with a scout. This could be 13 2. It should uh, be, but we're not 100% sure of that yet. I, I think I am. But you seem very sure of things, Henry. Because I know things. I've yeah. seen some things. Yeah, have you? Have you seen? I'm, I'm not surprised, actually. I've seen you at after parties. <laughs> Is Tarek going to get up on top of the balcony with the scout? Does give away his position. He'll fall back inside of the site. That's going to call for the rotation as well right now from Cutler. But Cutler with a shotgun is going to be playing such a long angle. And this is looking luck, considerably Tarek. better as Tarek does get a tag on the Hiko though. Oh god! 
Oh, that is so brutal. Save. It's another one. Doesn't matter. A Legion of Dread and close it out. 13 to 2 at the end of the first half. Same score. Once again for Team Liquid, if they win this pistol, we could have the same situation on our hands. Um, yeah. Uh, it's just, you can see the COG is struggling without the fifth player here. Um, when are they going to announce the fifth? They, I don't think they have one. I uh, know, that's my point. When are they going to get one? If you had to say right now, who would it be? You Swe have... Swedish or Danish. Oh, you think they'll actually be a European coming over? I have, I have that feeling. That I be, have a feeling that's probably That would be the first of these guys, so right, in terms of the core lineup. I don't think they've had a European apart from Pitta involved. It's always been five Americans yep. or Canadians. Yep. That'd be kind of cool. Maybe they could get... Who's your favorite British player? <sighs> Henry G. Yeah, I'm, I am available after my glorious comeback at the 1v1 tournament. Although I did lose to Moses and Semler, so... Yeah, I, I know, know, that was on my... Just, that might be my time. Yeah, man. and I kept up with you and Frags on one map, so you should probably... On one map, I, you, no one beat me at all, though. I think I top Frags in the entire game by some distance. I think Yanko did. Nope. I got 35... I got 36 kills in the final map. So, right. <laughs> did you see how many aces I got in that revolver map? Alright, just calm down. <laughs> it's not a big deal. It did well. If you'd have done that, I think it would have been a big deal. Obviously, if I get one kill, it's a big deal. You're a big deal. Elysian Nitro. But you're not big enough deal to be very fun Ooh, That's well enough. No, neither are you, apparently. This beat gets taken down by Elysian. Decent start to the pistol round once more for Liquid as their one man up. But one man isn't often enough in this pistol situation because they can hoard on to you. They can rush so quickly. Kusta's going to make it better. Goes for the reload, though. That allows the Tarek Duelies to get a shot. Where's the peak right now? This is p interesting. There it is, finally. And doesn't w he go? What? He sat there forever. Didn't peek him when he went toward the doors and then misses that duel. That's going to be a bomb down. This could be CLG taking the round on that alone. Uh, yeah, I think you may be right here. They're going to be doing a boost up the balcony. That's going to be a guarantee to kill here. Okay, no, Adren finds it. Continuing his strong form throughout this series. He has been very good. We speculated he may not be calling anymore. But as headshot on towards Tarek, that might actually help things out for Liquid. He does find a kill though, somehow. Two versus one now. Hayes to hold on to Cobble here. Can he do anything with this bomb ticking away? They have no kits, so they need to act very fast indeed. Two low HP players for the CTs, but they get the kill. Bomb ticking away, I don't think they can get this. Oh, I, I can't hear him, Matt. What's, this, what's the bomb tick like? They got it? It's close. I think he's got it. Yeah, he's got it. Sure? Yep. Oh, yeah. That is You weren't sure. Like. I was pretty close. Point zero yeah, you weren't seconds sure. remaining. I said he's got it. I was right. <laughs> you were saying, yeah, he's, he's got, got it. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. I, he did have it easy. 0.1 seconds. Yeah, yeah, that's easy. <laughs> got easy. It. Got it. Yeah, I have a cashew. Okay, I will. I'm going to mute your mic when you eat it, though. Good idea. Because I don't, I don't want to be rude. That is impressive, 0.1 seconds, and CLG inside of spawn trying to decide how in hell they want to go about this situation. They do have one AK bought up. Hiko, auto shoddy. Actually, I want, oh, Nuke is back. I was about to say, I want Nuke back. Nuke's back. Have you ever seen Nico or uh, Hiko? Yes. Hiko. Seen Hiko play with the pump shoddy on top of the hut? Yep. Wow. It's insanity. <laughs> well, yeah, it's good. Sure. It's P90X. Here we go. It's not that insane. Oh, okay. There it is. Well, let's get one. He's going back for more against Tarek. There's two. <laughs> Hiko loves that gun, and Pita loves the Tech 9. But what he doesn't love is losing games in a dramatic fashion, and that's how things are continuing to transpire right now. However, if you look at the fact that there is a Dren on low HP, there's still a chance in this, and Hayes pulls back one. He's got the AK up now. They've also taken back that shotgun from Hiko. This AK, it's going to take down a Liege. And they have to control that ball. Nitro, he's going to face onto this. Nade goes in and they've got this. CLG just pull it back in the end. And it's going to be a long uphill struggle here. And we'll see whether they can hold on. They have got tons of Is this of the start of it? This is the start of it, I think. This is the comeback. 16-14. Liquid. Are oh, they going to do it? You can imagine Peace Makers like, guys, no, don't worry. It's not going to happen again. They're probably getting PTSD right now. It's like, oh, is it happening? Are we going to get, are we going to choke? Peacemaker, are we going to choke? No, it's fine. Let's take a full eco. Stop buying all the shotguns. Let's calm down. It's all gonna be good. But through this game, I would, I would choke on the cash in this one. Fair enough. Fair enough indeed. Are they trying? Are they trying the VP lineup? This yeah? is the VP lineup. What we need a name for this? Uh, the VP lineup. The VP snake. They're doing it with four. Oh, there's a misalignment. Hiko's gonna show first, and that throws it all the wayside. But. 
Nitro does hit the shot in the end. They did try it. They were successful in getting one kill, but he got a little bit of a over extension. Blinded up his liege. Easy pickings for Tay. Reiko goes for a reload inside of the site. That's a lovely decision. Great decision. As it is Pita now inside a drop. Getting ever closer, though. Nitro has this AK now picked up. 55 seconds. There's no sense rushing this, and they have got the bomb slowly going back over toward the A site. Pita needs to be very careful here. He's giving his position away as well, but that smoke should help. help. What is that? <laughs> are you going to use the smoke or not? That? Like, are you facing or are you picking up a pick or using it to get out? Like, either way, that was going to go wrong because if he died, he, if he survived, he can't get out. He locked himself in there. Anyway, bomb will be planted. Still a winnable situation oh, for oh. sure. And Nitro has got through the great though. And then he does actually manage oh. to kill JDM with two kills of the P90. Headshots, of course. And it's going to be a Dren. He has had some pretty insane clutches tonight. No kit, one flashbang, AK in hand. Needs to find JDM and Cutler here. I feel like he can do this. Eh, yeah, there's a good chance. Tarek's Turkish delight. So try and pull this off. He's not even going. He doesn't have a kit. He's just looking for the exits to try and make this more winnable down the road. It's going to stay on 14 for Liquid. Four now for CLG. Indeed. They double their total. They can take another partial by here. Liquid just finishes out properly. They force this one. It opens up the window. And we could be here a long time. They don't, they don't, want, to, they don't want to choke, right? Let's not choke. Let's take a partial by. Let's make sure we finish this in style. And I think that's what Peacemaker's here for now. He's going to be like, guys, don't think about winning this 16-4. Let's just win the game, shall we? Don't force by. Don't anything silly. You good guys with pistols. Let's get some kills. Find some cash. And we'll go in. I think this is going to very soon, I promise. I'd be a great coach. That's what I should be doing. You're definitely not a life coach, but maybe a CS coach. Maybe a CS coach. Just need to pay me $15,000 every week and I'll be up for it. Please send me your emails. There you go. Anyone in chat who's ever wanted to know anything about Counter-Strike, it's a bargain. That's a pretty good price. There we go. It's an absolute steal. It's a barn burner, <laughs> as you would say. Hiko. Going to get taken down by JDM's AWP in the end, although the AKs did the early damage from the fact out of the hazed. I don't even know what that, that's a sentence in English, but Tarek's going to find a liege. It's Nitro now, one versus five. He's on 44, took that nade damage at the very start of the round. And it will be another for CLG. And somewhere, somehow, in chat, on Twitch, there is a bunch of fans that do believe CLG can make this comeback. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> Well, did you? Oh, did you see the the awkward high five between uh, no, but those Hiko are and Elise? The that, that's amazing. <laughs> this is the best one ever. Really? From today? Yeah, it was best one ever from today. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> it was like fist bump, high five, combo went wrong well four or five times in a row. So nice. Check that out. It's on Reddit right now. I gotta look that one up. I'll look that up in my terrible hotel Wi-Fi. Yeah. Well, then it's gonna be one of the times you hit fourteen five. CLG desperately holding on for dear life here. They are looking down the barrel of series points here and going down to the lower bracket. But it's going to be a partial by helping out Liquid here. So first kill though for Tarek, but quickly answered back by Adren. While making his way back towards the A side. So Koos is waiting there. Lands a shot towards Pitta as well. So that buys him some time. He rotates back towards the site here. Repositioning himself and looking for the kill on towards JDM. That should nail the round now as he is giving it. Okay, Koos didn't need to face that, but still a man advantage for Liquid. If they can convert it as well, though. It's man advantage. Molotov already out of the balcony. Hayes going to clear off all off angles. Go for the obviously safe plant in behind the large gardening hut. I like this little boost they've got going on. Yeah, it's clever. It covers off both choke points. It is going to give them the jump, but it's going to give away information. The smoke out in front of the small hut as well from a Duran is going to open this up. What's the plan here from Liquid? Uh, wasting valuable time, we're going to be ascending onto the side together here's point, the boost is going to oh. be disrupted, and it's up to Cutler now, gets the first kill, can't land the second, so the bomb will be defused at this point. That point. Yep, series, series points. Point. Qualification London point. point. London, London calling. Yes, London calling indeed. Boy, it in London. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I like that song. Yeah. That's me, I'm the werewolf in London. Hungry for blood. 
won't we'll explore that any further, actually. No. Anyway, I'll um, just leave that one there. 15-5 <laughs> and Eco back at it again with the auto shotgun. Doesn't want to win this game, apparently. Wants to humiliate. Go. Yeah. Well, he's going to take that auto shotgun this time to a very different position than its first location at danger. It's over toward that B platform instead. And they're going to boost up a lead. She's got the M4. Slow play from CLG. There was a little bit of aggression with the smokes going out and some nades. The like, a bit of spray from Tarek, not surprisingly, out toward long. But now they'll slow it down and start to patrol elsewhere on the map with the bomb drop inside of the B tunnels. It is Pitta and Hayes together, but the first pick goes to Liquid. This is crucial, as Elise is able to put down one. Cutler, though, look at this. Down drop already. This is a kill. Easy kill. Adren down already. Doesn't even go for trigger discipline. Just wants to win the duel. Shotgun from a distance, and Hiko pulls it off, but he's gone low. One HP, and they have pulled this back slightly because they got a kill into Adren as well. So Kusta needs to come up large still on this A site, and Hayes is going to find Hiko. Oh, surely. Or is he just going to go back? This is He'll find Kusta then. Yeah, but Kusta surely dead. There it is. And uh, there it is, three versus two. Hiko, the AK-47 is up to a lead now. So you can actually make this a possibility. The bomb will be planted surely around going for CLG. And I've got an interesting tweet here, Matt, after this round's over. You have a tweet? People yeah, tweet you? it's from Fugly. Okay. Not to us, but it's a tweet he just made. So he just said on Twitter, just so everyone knows, I did not leave CLG, I was kicked. And I have no idea why they're using Pitta or Ringer right now, but it seems like that's what they'd rather do. So he's still under contract. Yep. Or CLG. Yep. Um, but uh, he, did, he has announced he is joining a new team next week. Good to hear. Good to hear. And indeed. there has been speculation on Reddit as to who that is. I don't know. Has there? Yes. On the front page right now, it's saying that he might be joining Reddit as a leaked screenshot. Uh, joining NRG on Reddit. Possible. Yeah. Definitely possible. They need to pick up two. There's one that's very heavily rumored but that's, as well. That's a massive rumor. That's just a screenshot on Reddit. Yeah. That's like normally yeah, spilling yeah. the beans. That's just yeah. something on the front page right now. Of course. Well, it is still map point for Liquid as they are forced on the reset here again. They did save an AK and an AWP in the hands of a leash. Yeah, I think CLG starts to look outside the territory. I think there's there's uh, two players that I've heard, but I don't know. I, I don't want to. That would that would be speculative. Uh, uh, yeah, and I don't want to give misinformation, but there's yeah. I've heard. Well, there's three I guess that I've heard, but two that seem to be recurrent. Hold on. And I and I don't know enough about it to say. And spread rumors, so we'll have to wait and see. Did, it, did they say weapons here, Hiko and Elish? I was discussing tweets. I guess they must have done. They did, yes, sorry. Hiko and Elish both managed Why to save these weapons. The orb? Because Elish wants it, and his StarCraft reflexes are ungodly. See? Look how fast they are. Too fast. He, was, he shot before the player was even in his crosshair. That's true. Well, Cutler's made it down drop once more. Nitro inside of the site. Little shoulder beat. Didn't spot Cutler there, nor in turn was he spotted. So, let's give him a chance. Now he definitely is. Elise, AWP, can't land the shot. He's going to take at least one into a Dren, but Nitro follows it up. Cutler barges into the site. He just blasts straight through Nitro up close, and Eric will take a Elise immediately after. Kusta already falling away with the AWP that they've now grabbed again. And he go with an AK. So, 15 7 now. That is for saving his weapons, surely. Yeah, they'd be exiting out. So, they saved weapons. Not going to be up to much here, but a uh, complete community have a normal round of M4s and no auto shotguns, liquid. That'd be that'd be ideal. Let's not have any overtime business here. I mean, you'd hate to see it happen, considering what's happened in the last, what, two or three days at E League. It's been horrible for them. So many. Uh, I guess the, the buzzword right now is choked. It certainly is. I don't think... Uh, Astralis are going to be happy because someone finally took that title away from them. But at least they were joking in semi-finals and stuff. But I guess like, Liquid did the same thing at the Major in terms of... Uh, that was definitely a semi-final. Yeah, <laughs> that's fair enough. But I guess uh, Astralis always famously done it in very deep in tournaments. This is a lot of online stuff recently from Liquid and the early stages of E-League as well. So... We'll see what happens there. And obviously at uh, Pro League Finals as well, they had a lot of NIP. Hello, 13-2. chicken was stuck in the stairwell. That was one of the worst ones I've seen. That one was really bad. 13-2 on Dust2. Yeah, and then... that one was really, really bad. But that was arguably worse than the... I, I mean, context. 
I would say the major is obviously worse, but the scoreline itself. Good pick, Kusta. Good boost to try and change things up. Higo gets one, but he's traded out. This opens up a bit of opportunity to try and go to A long. And look at the rotation this has caused. Three players back off of the B site. Now, it may end up being the right call, given that the bomb is now going in that direction. Kusta, again, going to find JDM. Hayes spotted, but he's trying to dance in the flames. Can't land the shot onto him, but it's four onto two. And Liquid might finally have a chance at doing this smoke out. That's going to give vision away from Kusta. They're going to push through it, but he catches Hayes doing so. Surely this is it. Tarek. A shot toward Kusta is going to give away his position at the top of mid. Elise pushes through, and it's all done. Just like that, Liquid have made it to London. London, baby. They will be joining us here at the end of June. It will be CLG Stadley going into the lower bracket where they will face TSM. So, CLG, interesting. Like the discussion we just had with that. Um, obviously, they still have Fugly under contract. They, they had the opportunity to play this tournament with him, but he was kicked. So now they're playing with the coach. So obviously they're trying to find a new player right now, but this is the worst time to be kind of juggling and trying players. You need to have someone locked in. You need to have someone ready if you're going to make that kind of call. You're playing these big games and dropping out of million plus million dollar tournaments, yep. which this is. Um, this is a bad time for them to be kind of, uh, I'd say if you get a drop player, you need someone ready to go. Lock them in. Let's, let's get them in instead of playing your coach. Well, I mean, this is the thing. They now have to play TSM tomorrow night for the last spot. So we do have yeah. one more best of three remaining. We're going to look at the highlights from the series right now. So the, uh, I'll be on in just a moment. See? Look there at that. Is. I even threw it. It was beautiful. That orange thing or purple thing, I threw that. Um, no, but I mean, they, they didn't now play TSM for the last spot at the LAN. And that's, uh, that's a pretty remarkable statement that TSM has a chance to take down CLG. Um, and, and with Pitta playing, it's it's a real possibility, and, yep. and that's that's a big land to come to. Like we said, over a million dollars in June uh, 25th and 26th. Absolutely. So, Pitta um, got a highlight, by the way. Right, watch, it's gonna happen. He got that four man from the tree. Yeah, you watch, it's gonna happen. Maybe that's our play of the day. Oh, it already happened. We did just have it. Do we know That have could it? be. The we X, don't have the, X, we, the X Factor of the day is coming up. Wait, what's the official name? X Factor of the match. Uh, is, I think it's the X Factor play of the game. It's the X Factor of the match, Henry, because that's what Cyclops told me. And if I didn't say that, he's going to not be in the movie just to come here do you and know shoot me do with you, his laser eyes. Do you even eyes. know he's in the movie? Uh, I don't, but I would assume it's Cyclops. Uh, hello, it's Cyclops, obviously. Like Duh. the most famous X Men. <laughs> hello. Uh, <laughs> uh, that movie comes out Friday. We'll be there. Uh, May 27th, we will be Live there. streaming it on Periscope. That's not going to happen. That is copyright. We've got the X Factor, Henry. Let's take a look at it. I bet it's a pizza place. Got to be. Come on. That'd be Give that guy some love. That'd be, that'd be awesome. Where is it, producer? There it is. No. It's not. It's a dren. Oh, this was a worthy free, play, yeah. actually. Yeah, this was pretty This good. was the clutch out. So then takes the bomb all the way back over to B. Speed it up perfectly. And then plants in the open. JDM misses two op shots. I didn't. I, I said plants. It's a pretty anticlimactic finish. It's not like a stunning kill to finish it, but there it is. No, it was a good play though. That was actually in the context of things. You know, it was twelve two. It could have turned the game. It's liquid, right? It is liquid. You're right. And they, so but the thing is, they managed to get to fifteen rounds nice and early on both maps. They weren't. The, the problem is with liquid. And they're choking. They're not able to get the number fifteen. That's a problem. When you get the fifteen, that's actually a massive mental block removed. Yeah. It means like we've got, at least we've guaranteed every time we can actually be a little bit crazy with our buys and do some interesting stuff instead of having to be really precarious and like, okay, what do we have to do here? What do we have to do? And uh, so yeah, they, they seem like if it, if it is peacemaker calling now. Maybe that's the way forward. Adren, he actually played great this last two maps. I think he was really good. Yeah, so he was If he's fine, not calling, yeah. that's maybe a testament to and, that's and Mech can stop calling forever. Unfortunately, it's a little bit late for them in E-League in some respects. Like you say, they're not out yet, but they've Luminosity got a playoff first. against, yeah, Luminosity. They've got fourth seed. They can, they can beat them, though. Like they, they can, they totally. They can get toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. It's not like they get wrecked by them every time. They do have close games. But it is, it is I mean, that's that's a... It's an unfortunate circumstance that they, they've had to iron out all these little but What, a, what and a romantic story that would be, Matt. They have all these horrible throws, and then they go up against the world's number one team, and everyone's thinking they're not going to do it, and they bounce back with Peacemaker calling the Brazilian, of course, against Luminosity, and they win the game. Yeah, you never know. Imagine that. Imagine that. Let's look at the bracket really quickly. Um, and as much as this bracket will paint the picture, you can get more than that. If you uh, download the Score Esports app on iOS App Store or Google Play, because it's got all of the score lines in these particular matches, as well as the news updates from this E-League 
and Pro League. So CLG TSM Optic Liquid, that was our four into the shootout. Remember, it's seeds two through six that are into this. And, and number one and number two, Luminosity Cloud9, are advanced straight through. Liquid have now done it. They've beat out CLG in this upper bracket game, and they'll fall down to play TSM. That is our last best of three until the land final. That is tomorrow evening. Yeah, we have one game tomorrow from the NA side of things, and that's going to be a one best of three. I think it's in the normal time. It will be, uh, what, uh, it's like 12 Midnight here, so f uh, five hours backwards. It's 7 p.m. Eastern. So that's going to be a good game, I think. That's actually a really exciting prospect. COG, not really at 100% form, obviously, with the po coach luck coming in as well. TSM on the ascendance, but turbulent right now. I think that's going to be a really close game. That'll be like a three-mapper. That'll be a really close series. So make sure you come back and watch that to find out who will be the final NA team coming towards the London experience. And if you don't really care about which two teams of those make it, but want to make it yourself and join Liquid at the LAN, you can do so. Go to Wembley.CSGOLeague.com, buy your tickets, join us, we'll be there. I will, uh... Go on. I don't know, I'll be there. I'll be, I'll be there. No, we even get it. You set the most up. You've set, you've set a promise say... now. Sedimus will do a meet and greet. He's very, very friendly to his fans. It's been proven. What? I am. Don't make a joke out of that. I am. It's we went bit, out of our way twice at too, MLG to do this. A little bit too friendly. That's, that's... Okay. <laughs> don't know what that means. I'll be there. You can meet me. I will not be too friendly. I will be just right. Good night, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.